ask that graduates and their guests please stand for the academic procession. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I'd like to welcome you today, today to the Universal Business School Sydney or UBSS graduation ceremony for the class of 2012. My name is David Knight and I'm the Dean of UBSS. I would like to formally welcome family, friends and parents who have come to the graduation ceremony, some of whom have come from the other side of the world to be with us today. And most of all, I would like to welcome our students, today's graduates. Today is not just a graduation ceremony. It symbolises a point of your life where some of you will successfully enter professional employment or where others may choose to go on to postgraduate level education. Before I go on, I would like to introduce you to members of the UBSS Council, our governing body. Firstly, to my far right, we have Mr Alan Finch. Mr Finch is the chairman of our council and he will be awarding you your degrees today. Mr Finch has over 30 years' experience at senior level in the management of higher education organisations and has served on a number of higher education boards and advisory committees. Next to him in the red is Professor Bill Ticehurst. Professor Ticehurst is a leading academic authority on curriculum design, academic quality and communication and has been chairman and member of a number of education boards in Australia and the Asia-Pacific region. Next to Bill, we have Professor Tom Valentine. <laughs> Tom is an internationally recognised economist and scholar and has been a member of a number of financial boards and committees. From the claps you just gave me, I, I can tell that many of you have been fortunate to have Tom as one of your lecturers. Next to Professor Valentine, we have Mr Tim Delaney. Tim <laughs> Tim is a chartered accountant and has worked for a number of financial companies and multinational organisations in a senior capacity and also acts as a financial advisor. Tim brings acute accounting and business acumen to our council. Next to Tim we have Gisela Romensky. Gisela brings a significant amount of legal and business foresight into our council. Gisela is a practising and established lawyer and a member of the local business community. That concludes the members of our council present today. I would also like to introduce to you Mr. Simon Cho, today's occasional speaker. <laughs> Mr. Cho is a divisional councillor with CPA Australia and is very prominent in the world of accounting and acts as chair to the UBSS course advisory committee. I'd also like to welcome two members of the academic staff here today, Brendan Piggott and Wayne Simitson and both... <laughs> and our course coordinator, who you've all had contact with, Mr. Daniel Kirkland. With the introductions now complete, I now request that Mr. Alan Finch, the chairman of our council, to officially open the ceremony and admit graduates to their degrees. Thank you, David. I'm pleased to declare open this third graduation of UBSS, and I'd like to add my welcome to that of your dean. As, as David has said, today is a special occasion for our graduands and for their families and friends. The earning of a degree requires a lot of hard work. Congratulations to you, our graduands, and to your loved ones and friends who are here today. Muhammad Ahmed. Narayi Bandari, Sangeeta Bandari, Dipti Joshi Dango, Dipti Joshi, Yuria Kush, Rajendra Lakak, Mangil Mahajan, Keda Mahajan, Sushil Mahajan Dango, Marina Mananda, Abhishek Pradhan, Uthwal Rai, Vijay Regmi, Shrijal Rijal, Ramesh Rinal, Hiren Shah, Amrita Shrestha, Bhakti Shrestha. Kityan Shrestha, Jasmine Shrestha, Hare Krishna Singh, Osadi Shrestha, Susma Subedi, Anil Tapa, Tulsi Tapa, Neha Tapa Magar, 
Bishal Tapalia. Ripken Tulada. Emmanuel Zunino. We have now presented all degrees to those present at the ceremony. I now ask the Chairman to present the Professor Gus Guthrie Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement. The uh, Professor Gus Guthrie Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement is the most prestigious academic award conferred by UBSS. It has recently been established by the UBSS Council and it honours the founding chairman of uh, the UBSS Council, Emeritus Professor Guthrie. This award is awarded to the student in the graduating class who has achieved a minimum of distinction average across their course with, of course, no failing grades and recognises that level of academic excellence. I uh, call upon Yulia Kush to come to the stage as the inaugural <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I now ask Mr. Simon Cho of the New South Wales Division of CPA Australia to give the occasional address. Congratulations on a wonderful achievement of attaining your Bachelor of Accounting degree from the Universal Business School, Sydney, formerly UIC Sydney. It is a great honour for me to be on the UBSS Advisory Board, to be invited by your Dean, David Knight to be making this occasional address. I'm impressed by a UBS mission statement on its website, which is to launch careers in accounting and business through intellectually robust industry recognised and government accredited courses which produce work ready graduates. You will find that the practical insights and knowledge that you have gained from your Bachelor of Accounting degree will be valued by your employers and the profession and make you work ready and competitive in the job market. This is acknowledged by the fact that, you, that your degree is accredited by CPA Australia, a 139,000 global professional accounting membership organisation, which I am a divisional councillor for in New South Wales. As a professional accountant, we need to continue to uphold our ethics and moral compass wherever we go. This is totally true as a trusted advisor to clients, and we need to be their role model, and we have this, and have this moral compass. You may be tempted by unscrupulous people in your career journey, but think of this moment and this advice when you are in that situation. You have invested a lot of time and energy in building your professional career and education, and you don't want that to go to waste and lose your reputations and trust in the industry. Once again, congratulations on the attainment of your Bachelor of Accounting degree and a start of an exciting career path and the opportunities that is awaiting for you. The world is your oyster. Remember, though, to live, your, to live and to work with your passion and also with your moral compass. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. I think it's a very inspirational speech and I think some very good advice there for our graduates. Um, I now ask Mr. Emmanuel Zanino, the graduate student of the class of 2012, to give the vote of thanks on behalf of the Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Let me begin by saying that I'm humble and I'm truly honoured by the opportunity to speak to you today. And I first would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the college uh, administrators, teachers, and members of the board who helped us through the years. Also to this graduating class for the precious gift of your friendship, and especially to our parents for the vital role they have played in our life. Regardless of our backgrounds, we were all looking for the same things. We all share the same interests, the same anxieties, and even the same struggles. Today we should be proud of our achievement and enjoy it. We have completed a degree from establishment of higher education. 
We have learned and applied new skills, but most importantly, we have grown as individuals. We feel stronger and wiser. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the awarding of degrees, the Professor Gus Guthrie Award and speeches, and thus concludes our formal ceremony for this year. I ask graduates and their guests to stand for the departure of the academic procession.